Hi everybody, I'm Maheen and this is your Thursday Thrill with Zills for the Daily Belly Dance Quickies. Today we aren't going to do a combination or a drill, but we're going to actually talk about a question that a DBQ subscriber sent in. Uh, Claudia sent in a question about having a problem with tension in the tendons along the top of her hand and her wrist as she's playing and it's help causing her playing to lock up and stall and so she's not in, in keeping uh, making a problem if in playing fluidly. Um, this actually is not that unusual of a problem for some players. One of the things that you want to check if you're having an issue with this is how you're striking your zilts. So sometimes what we see is we have our hand here. If we hit the zilts together like this, we want to just have them bounce off of each other so we get that nice open ring sound. And of course, if we're going for a clap, we don't want any bounce off of them. We want to just close the sills. But we're going to talk about a ring for now. So when you have them come together, they just need to kind of fall together and they need to come bounce back and open. One of the problems that I see sometimes in these people when they play, going here and kind of flaring their fingers out like this to open the zills. And by doing that, if you try that with your hands, you can see how much tension that causes in the top of your hand. And if you are putting a lot of effort in the opening of the zills, not only could that mess you up rhythmically because you're putting an effort in this between the beat part that can tend to confuse you rhythmically, but also you're causing stress in your hand and you're also going to throw off your speed as you start to go and play a little more quickly. So one of the things I like to tell people is to kind of get, to get used to their hands being relaxed. So as you're playing, as you're drilling, just let your hands dangle down and play so you're not working against gravity, so that when you hit and release, you're not working against gravity to have to pull up. So just to kind of get some new muscle memory back into your hands in a relaxed fashion. And from there, then we can come up and and try and keep that relaxed feeling up there. So that's one thing that you can try. And also remember that tension in your hands is going to affect the fluidity of your arm movement. So if your hands are tense, your arm movements are not going to be as graceful as they would be if your hands are relaxed. And also they're gonna be more attractive. Your hands will make a more graceful line for the end of your arms. And your playing speed will be more smooth. So relax the hands. Don't work too hard on this opening portion here. Dangle the hands down for practice if you need to. Shake them out and make sure that you keep them nice and loose. So that's your tip for today. And thanks, Claudia, for sending in the question. It's a really great one. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Come back next week and we'll have something different for Thursday. Uh, we'll see you soon. And um, I will be in Los Angeles March 29th and 30th. If you're in the area, I hope to see you there. Thanks and have a good week.